We're at the crossroads. Yeah. And no question about that. But it's not the end of the world. If we die, we die together. You can get it done. You can get it done. What's more, you gotta get it done. Unfortunately, after three straight appearances in the AFL Championship, the Bills hardly ever got it done. They made the postseason only four times in the next 21 years. The team's futility did not wear well on a city struggling with its image. I was 16 years old, very young, and I moved to New York. And somebody said to me once, where are you from? And I said, from Buffalo. And they went, <laughs> they were mocking the city, which seemed to be a loser town. And this particular loser town had a, a football team that was losing a lot of games. The economy going down and people not working well and there not being a lot of money there, it made the focus of a football franchise that was not doing well seem brutal, painful. One of the things I found um, after a few years of living here was that uh, uh, there was a, a tremendous uh, sense of inferiority, I think, with people. There's no reason for the people in this community to have an inferiority complex because it is a great place to live, but for some reason they do. That's why I think the bills are an all-consuming entity here. Buffalonians wear their hearts on their sleeves, and, and that sleeve is, is on a Bill shirt. Such attachment can be a risky proposition, though, for a town with a fragile psyche. In 1980, fans starved for a winner, tore down the goalpost after the season opener. A decade later, another goalpost and a football sailing just wide of it threatened to send the entire region into depression. Scott Norwood, he can fire the shot heard round the world now. High drama here in the Super Bowl. I think one of the most remarkable things I've ever witnessed was um, after that Super Bowl loss to the Giants, Super Bowl 25, uh, this crowd jams Niagara Square for basically what was a loser's rally, but uh, the, the feeling of, of winning and the spirit of support was overwhelming. And then when they chanted for Scott to come out, I mean, you would think that they'd be chanting uh, for him to come out so they could lynch him. For 25 years after the Booth Lustig incident, Buffalonians had an altogether different reaction to Scott Norwood's misfortune. You know, we're struggling with this right now, and you know who I am, but I've, I know I've never felt more love than right now. And so began one of the most bittersweet chapters in football history. In one four-year span, the Bills soared to unprecedented heights and sunk to intolerable depths. The Bills have written history! This has just been a horrible and horrendous nightmare for the Bills. And they are going back to the Super Bowl! What a way to end a tremendous season. But always, the Bills' worst failures reveal their greatest strength. Resilience. We had, an, we had a resilience for the game, a love for the game, a belief in one another. We could count on one another to go back year after year after year, prepare, do whatever it took to get back to the big dance. Fellas, listen up. All you ever asked for is an opportunity. You got it today. Where else would you rather be than right here, right now? Marv Levy loves history, loves Winston Churchill. I sent him a picture one time of Mr. Churchill uh, giving the victory sign during World War II and he had that famous saying, never give in, never, 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 never yield to the apparently overwhelming might of your enemy. And I signed it, dear coach, he was talking about you. Let's go guys, we're gonna knock their ass off. Like Winston Churchill, Head coach Marv Levy used words to inspire his troops. Fight on, my men, Sir Andrews said. A little I'm hurt, but not yet slain. I'll just lie down and bleed a while, and then I'll rise and fight again. You can overcome, baby. You can overcome this. 
Fittingly, the Bills' crowning achievement was also one of the greatest comebacks in NFL history. They rallied from a 32-point deficit to defeat Houston in the 92 playoffs. Bills can win it here. White puts it down. The kick is on the way, and it is good. And the Bills have won it. Incredible. What a comeback by the Bills. Through it all, Buffalonians stood by their team, though their prayers always seemed to fall on deaf ears.